Welcome to the Sage 50C Pastel Accounting How To video. In this video, we will demonstrate how you can reset defaults and controls in app. Your defaults and settings always control your last filters that you used on your report when you ran it. It also controls the processing settings that are selected on your journals and your cash book. On some occasions, those defaults and settings get corrupted and when you run your reports, they may not pull through the information that you're expecting. In that case, you will need to reset your defaults and settings. Before you reset your defaults and settings, you'll need to make sure that you check the settings on your journals and your cash books. Firstly, you go to Process Journals. On your process journal screen you need to take note of the next reference that is set up in the reference column you also need to go on to the settings tab and then take note of all the settings that are selected in the screen it is advisable to make a screenshot of it and save it on a word document so that if you need to go back and make the same changes you already have a screenshot of it once you have taken note of all these details, you can close the screen. Make sure you do that for all the journals that you have in your processing screen. You then close the screen. You do the same for your cash books. So you go into your process, cash book, process cash books. Screen. You will need to also take note of the reference that is set up in the reference column. This is the next reference that the new transaction is going to be using. Take note of that. You go into your receipt side of the cash book. You also take note of the next reference that the next transaction will be using. You will then need to go into the settings tab of your cash book. Make a screenshot of those settings as well. You may need to do the same on your other banks as well. So if you click on the drop down arrow, select all the other banks that you have in the system and do the same thing. Take note of the reference as well as the settings that are set up on your settings tab. Once that is done, you then close all your tabs. In the next process, you then need to reset your defaults and settings. You go into your utility, maintenance, reset defaults and settings. If you do have any open batches or any recurring batches, this message will then show up. You will need to go into all your batches and update them. You can also check this by going into view, open batches. If you do have any open batches in the screen, you need to go and update these batches. You can also check for any recurring batches. Recurring batches can be found on your cash books or even your invoices. On your cash books, where it says no more batch entry, click on the drop down arrow and select recurring batch entry and confirm that you do not have any. If you do, you can export your batch out and then delete it in Pastel. Make sure you've got a backup before you delete anything. For purposes of this video, I will be deleting this line. And then we close the cash book. If we go into Utility, Maintenance, Reset Defaults and Settings, it will ask us if you would like to reset the defaults and settings for the user. Click yes and the message pops up that says defaults and settings have been reset for the user. You can then click on OK and you should be able to run your report. 